Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another installment of what is turning out to be actually an awful lot of fun for me, dinner with orbs. And tonight I've got a very simple dish uh, for you at home. And I know that a lot of you like lamb and have requested that I do a lamb dish. So a shepherd's pie is on the menu with some nice minted peas. And of course, as always, a little wine to start the cook. We have a nice big glass and a bottle of Canon Cop Cadet. That should be fun. Now, the thing I'm going to tell everybody at home, once and for all, a shepherd's pie is made with lamb and a cottage pie with beef. No compromises. So today we're doing it properly. And actually, what you should do is have some leftover lamb or cook some the day before, refrigerate it, and then chop it up, not mince. And I've cooked it very simply with a bit of garlic and some rosemary and some seasoning and olive oil so that it's, the lamb is speaking for itself. And what you want to do is get it into chunks which are not too small because it is after all a pie, not a puree. So be brutal, be brutal. And you can see the lamb is cooked beautifully, nice and sort of tender, not dry. You don't want dry lamb. Top it to a sort of, these sort of uh, bite size. But try to eat after you've cooked, not during, because you have nothing left. I've added some garlic to my onion, but that's going to fry for, just for about 30 seconds or so. And to this I'm going to add the carrots, which I've chopped quite finely, because you don't want them to be big chunks of carrots, and it's got to be the lamb which speaks to you. I reckon about three carrots should do it. Yeah, put the whole lot in. Four carrots. <laughs> and to that, we'll also add some celery, and I love the smell of freshly chopped celery. And it adds a very... Um, exciting dimension to the lamb dish. Lamb, celery, mint. Great friends. And you can see the colours. Just spectacular, autumnal, fantasticness. So the beautiful vegetables are getting nicely caramelised in the bottom. And once that's happened, you can actually do your onion relish, which is what I'm going to do now. And basically all it is, sliced onions, a bit of olive oil, and a lemon. And that's it. And slice them quite thin. There we go. So all the onions are there. Put them in the bowl. As they are. The entire lemon. Squeeze it on top as much as you can out of it. Put your fingers in the, in the lemon. That's, that tends to get most of the juices out the easiest. It's a messy affair. So we return to the vegetables, to which now, and you can see how nice and soft they've become, but not mushy. In goes the lamb. How beautiful lamb. Oh my goodness me. That is spectacular. I wish you could smell it, but obviously smell of vision hasn't been invented yet, but it will come. We have our beautiful tomato paste. And I'm usually just bought uh, tomato paste. I reckon about three teaspoons should do. Brings it all together and the colours are quite spectacular. So that'll be about a, a minute. And which gives me just enough time to pour some, some more wine for myself. Okay. One of the most important rules in cooking for me is that uh, when you're using wine to cook with, it's got to be good enough to drink. And that's what we do. We have wine for ourselves to drink, whilst the beautiful lamb is cooking. And then we cook with it also, but it's good enough to cook with, you see. So put about a glass full of wine in the beautiful lamb, and pour another beautiful glass of wine for yourself. I think, actually, a little bit more wine, because it doesn't seem to be holding. So that's about a glass and a half, depending on how much you're making. One of the beauties of living in the Cape, and I know it's winter here, and people expect it to be freezing cold and wet and windy, is that actually we get some sun from time to time. So I'm, I'm like, leave this cooking for another five minutes or so, but before I go, a little dash of uh, Worcester sauce. Shepherd's pie without Worcester sauce is just not a shepherd's pie. So I put in about a good three or four glugs of the Worcester sauce, and you can smell the sweetness it brings. And it will season it afterwards because it's got quite a bit of salt in it. 
But now I'm going to go and try and find some mint in the garden. So we're on the way to find some mint. <laughs> this is going to be quite an entertainment. <laughs> so I'm on the way to the garden. And you can see I'm going through the house. It's very strange that I should be going through the house to go to the garden. But you'll see why in a minute. And here we are in the garden on the roof with that view. Spectacular views of Cape Town. The herbs are waiting for me. The dogs are barking. It's fantastic fun. So here we go. And you need your wine with you all the time. You must never leave your wine behind. We have some sage. I see we have some chervil up there. We have some mint. And all I need is a bit of mint. You can smell the freshness of the mint. It's one of those things which always amazes me. Who ever thought to put mint with meat? But here they are, beautiful. So we've done our picking, back to the kitchen. So five minutes and we're ready to put the pie together. In the meantime, I might do the mashed potatoes. A simple um, recipe which I have is for this dish is uh, potatoes, lots of butter, and an egg yolk, and sometimes you might like a bit of cheese, but I don't like putting cheese in it. This is a beautiful gadget. It does all that hard work for you and it ensures that there are no lumps. It's fantastic. Little noodles of deliciousness. There it is. And it's, it's a good workout, so you'll earn your butter eating points if that's what you're worried about. So um, don't be shy. I've got about half. I think. A bit more, perhaps. There we go. So that's about 150 grams of butter. Goes in there. And let that melt into the potato. Won't take very long if the potato is really hot. The dish, all you need to do is scoop in some of this beautiful pie filling. And all we need to do now is get our egg yolk, which I've lost. Where did I put it? There. <laughs> and you just put it as it is, straight in, stir it very quickly. And just literally scoop it on. No fancy piping required. But do it evenly so that there's, there's, you know, a good spread of potato at the same level everywhere. I think I am satisfied. These are all the potato. 25 minutes. <laughs> said earlier but for us tonight we're gonna do a little portion for whoever lucky person and you should just see oh with the onions is essential not too much you just want a touch of the onion relish on the side there our shepherd's pie with minted peas and an onion relish Bon appétit, wonderful, fantastic.